Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Okay, welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. Here I'm going to spray the let go. Like it's a let go of some old patterns day. Um, let go of your old self. See what new things we can bring in. meditation I did have a very strong purple blue color I think it was this right here the third eye right and it kind of faded in and out from these colors here Right, so that's basically the top three. All right, so we have um, the crown chakra, spirituality, peace and connection, third eye, awareness, vision and clairvoyance throat, expression, ideas, and life force. Okay, I feel like um, it was very heavy on my third eye chakra here. Um, amethyst, we do have the amethyst here. We have a couple of amethysts there, and the whole string light here is amethyst. Um, All right, so directly associated with psychic abilities and intuition. Influences thoughts about truth, spirituality, wisdom, vision, clairvoyance, imagination, psychic awareness, direction. Issues include learning limitations, bad dreams, rationality, hallucinations, bad vision, glaucoma, headaches, effects, pituitary gland, nervous system, brain, eyes, and nose. Okay, this is the affirmation. Truth does set me free. I am open and willing to see and allow that which is best. I trust my intuition and the inner voice that guides me. My truth and God's truth are the same. I welcome guidance and directions for myself and others. Above all else, I want to see more clearly. Mm -hmm. All right, sage, rosemary, pine, lavender, cypress, juniper, and neroli. Ixe, vowel is A, A Y, A is your sound therapy. Mantra is M. Mm. Note A-852 hertz. Okay, we also have Labradorite, uh, Lapis, Lazuli, Lazuli, and Blue Goldstone. Um, picture Jasper, 
Soda Light, Blue Tiger's Eye, Archangel Raphael, Master Hilarion. Okay. All right, so that's just what popped up immediately. Um, we'll just leave this one over here. While I was meditating today. And right now I feel like I'm really slow. I'm trying to calm down. I have so many things going on in my mind and I have so many things that I wanna do and learn and I can't do them all at once. <laughs> And um, it's kind of hard to just stop and focus on one thing. Because um, I want to learn it all, right? And then it's I'm kind of torn between, okay, do I just start one thing and do it till the end? Or do I do a, a little bit of each? Because we as humans are really not made to multitask. As much as society would... Love for everybody to be a huge multitasker. Uh, our bodies aren't really made to do that. So, um, I think I just need to slow down and kind of figure out one thing at a time. It's, you know, I'm kind of just going off of what feels good to me and what feels right at the time trying to get into routine. I'm really bad at routine. Even since I was a child, I don't like routine. You know, go to dance class. I was like five years old, I guess. Uh, I remember, you know, yelling and screaming at my mom about how I don't want to go to dance class because I didn't feel like doing it at that particular time. Um, but I, you know, always regretted that too because I love dance and it would have been nice to be able to have um, learned more about it as a young child and progressed and, you know, mastered it. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of that feeling of lots of regrets, right? Regrets in there, feeling like... It might be too late, although I, I do feel like it's never too late. Uh, no matter what you're trying to do, you don't know how long you're going to be here on Earth. Um, you know, I can not even be halfway through my life yet, you know, or your life. And um, there's so much to learn and so much to explore. And deciding which things that you want to do. And as much time as it takes to learn these new things, it um, can be a little daunting when you think about it too much, right? So just kind of let it go, right? Let it go spray. Um, tune in to your crown, your third eye, and your throat chakras. You know, those purpley blues. Tap into your intuition. and learn how to relax a little bit um not everything has to get done like right now right this second uh you don't have to master it right this second i feel like we live in a world of Maybe it's not just the world. Maybe it's just the United States. Um, I can't really speak for the rest of the world. Um, because I haven't lived anywhere else. You know, for more than a week at a time, right? Um, just kind of visiting. So, you know, in the United States, it's everything is so fast paced and quick and hurry up and get it done. And on a timeline... Feel like we need to kind of revert from that all right slow everything down listen to your inner being okay 
Okay, before we look at these tea leaves, we're going to do MJ's Daily Spread. Okay. Um, and that's about the energy of person number one, energy of person number two, and energy of the relationship. The middle card is also the timing card, which is number five card. Success. This one keeps popping up. This was in our last reading, too. And actually, I think it was in the reading before that as well. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Let me show you this. Okay, career. I believe I had this one last time too. I feel like I'm getting a lot of the same ones. Um, you know, the past keeps popping up, right? The past holds us back. We need to look forward. Parrot. Someone will gossip about you, about all your secrets. Right. Parrot is always like children I feel like repeats everything that you say doesn't matter who's there and who's around whether or not there's somebody there you don't want to hear it they are going to say it exactly at that time they feel your energy of they know that's not what you want so they do it and we have July and August okay um the ocean in there with some beautiful colors. Um, it looks like the sun's setting here at the beach. And then we have a full moon in August. So I do feel like you're going to have success in your career here by July and August. Um, Now, maybe this person is the person that's gossiping about you. This man with the dark complexion or hair. Um, maybe he wants your job or something like that. Or you're coming into a job as like a manager and you didn't have to work your way up. So this person is uh, spreading gossip about you and your secrets. Um, this could have even have been the person who interviewed you and is like jealous of you or something. Maybe you, this person feels like you're trying to take their position. There are definitely things that are unseen here. Um, it's, it's getting dark, right? Starting to get dark. So hurry up and get home before the sun goes down, you know, stay and look at the beautiful colors here at the beach while the sun's going down. But you also wanna get home because all the crazies come out on the full moon because that's when everybody's releasing their energies, right? They're releasing all that negative energy that they're trying to get rid of. And it's all kind of just floating around out there. Okay, let's see here. So let's find out, uh, you're the person number one. Ooh, okay. And we do have three cards here. I don't know if I can really leave these all out here and have room, but um, I'm just going to kind of squish them in there. Okay, well, that one's reversed, that's reversed, this is you. Looks like you have some tough decisions to make about this union. And um, it looks like you're going against tradition, right? You're going against society and you know, people don't always like that. 
This is why maybe somebody's talking about all your secrets. This person who is um, really not in union with you here because they are upside down. And I do see like a little, it looks like a cat skull here. Um, and I kind of feel like that reef there is like the wisdom of the gods, right? And cats are intuitive. Um, so I do feel like you are feeling this intuitively that this union isn't quite right. And the traditions need to be broken. mushroom there and you know, somebody's trying to fool you need the snake okay this is them yeah, it looks like they're putting a lot of hard work into something in creating something um yeah, I definitely feel like this is somebody who's jealous of you trying to come into this new career because they've already put in all this hard work and they don't want you to come in here and just take over. You know, they've been working on this for so long and uh, then you're just going to come in and take their position that they've been working past several years maybe even decades to get to a higher point they have this collaboration already with this company they've already put in this hard work they've already had to fight off others to get to their position all right and since you are just coming into the company and um didn't have to work your way up, which you traditionally would have to do. They're not liking this and they're ready to fight you. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There needs to be some sort of a balance here. There's oppositions. Um with the mind, right? And the page is somebody who is just learning and just beginning, is like a teenager, uh, is a little bit immature. Right, and they're holding on to their ground, right? They're holding on to their coins very tightly. So this is my city. I'm not going to budge. They're being very stubborn. Okay, and they are trying to hurt you with your mind because they're spreading your secrets. Okay, and we're kind of like on rocky cliffs here, even though I mean, this guy is like really big, like a giant. But standing on these kind of like rocky cliffs, it looks like like as a god maybe um maybe you look up to this person all right and then the timing that's the three of cups so cups are um the second slowest, so pentacles would be the slowest, and then cups are slow, but not as slow as these pentacles. Um, and we have three, like the, uh, what is that? January, February, March, would be in March. Could be three weeks it could be three days um but because this is so slow i mean this could even be so what is it 
I'm sorry. So let me back up a little bit. So wands are going to be uh, days. Swords are weeks. Cups are months. So this is three months. And pentacles are years. You know, this person can be very sharp tongued. Uh, they've been at this company for years. Okay. And the thing that they don't have here is the swords. Maybe they don't have the right mindset. Maybe you have some fresh new ideas to break these traditions. And the candle just went out. It has like kind of a beveling here. You're uh, in a Colosseum like. Center of attention, right? You're burnt out. But I didn't reuse a candle. So this is something that we're burning away from the past, from something else, from some other kind of energy. And it has gone its course. What are we in now? We're in May, be June, July, August. So August is that three months, right? July, August here. All right, let's see. What are the blocks in this situation? Um, there's that opposing energy again. Like we want to fight. Um, this is also very fast movement here. Maybe moving forward past this, right? Past this uh, stagnant energy, we are now moving through the air. This feels like it's the same area as this cliff here, which almost has a uh, full energy to it. New beginnings, kind of an arrogance, uh, jumping off the cliff, traveling even. And um, the high priestess, you know, she can go either way here. She could be good or bad. She has the knowledge of the dark side and the light side. And she can choose which way she wants to be based on her, you know, her knowledge. Um, I do see some, like, horns here. It looks like there's even, like, some blood on her or something uh maybe she so we do have pomegranates here maybe she has pomegranate all over her she is spilling the juice she's spilling the blood do you have these horns here um kind of reminds me of like the fallen angel she's putting down the horns but she does still kind of have some horns here on her crown but she has a lot of knowledge um, I believe it's the high priestess who does not speak, which is interesting because we have, uh, somebody who's not speaking, but somebody's telling your secrets. So this is the block in the situation. So um, 
I don't think you are moving forward here. All right, this is where you want to be. <clears throat> this is where you are with this other person. And you're not saying anything about it. You need to speak up. Okay, um, well, what are the actions I can take or that you can take in this situation? <laughs> okay, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, which is um, Twin Flame Energy, Marriage. So this is definitely not a marriage. And it looks like we have um, the Knight of Wands. which also uh, represents marriage here. So there's some sort of, um, don't, don't marry this person uh, kind of aspect here. What actions can you take in this situation? Don't be married to this, right? Maybe don't be married to the drama or don't be married to the career right is is this drama worth it to take this job if you're gonna have to deal with this person because they're gonna be cutting and they're gonna try and take you down all right uh so what are the messages this person's higher self wants to share with you what do they want you to know? What does your higher self want you to know? Okay. Oh, it feels very chaotic. I don't know if it's just because I have a bunch of cards on here. Um, there's a lot going on in these first three cards. There's a lot of chaos, right? And I already said that you're kind of confused here. There's a lot of chaos going here. Um, your wish is not granted. This is in reverse. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, you're not going to have this cozy family life. <laughs> um is this this is uh four five six of cups it's harmony with your emotions you don't have any emotional harmony here and then we have the knight of wands which is the fastest moving it's just passion fire magic action so you need to run is what I'm hearing. This is not meant for you. Whatever this uh, situation is, this is definitely not somebody that you're with. This is not a marriage. Um, and you need to run. Turn around and go back to where you came from. Because going forward is not going to get you anywhere here. Okay. So, uh, what can you learn from this situation? Queen of Cups. So, it's learning to control your emotions and how to deal with people who steal from you. Yep, you need to move on. Once again, get to calmer waters. Get out of the situation. Okay, now. Let's 
Let's see what's on the bottom here. <sighs> yeah, there's something that you're not seeing here. All right, it's, it's time to take the blindfold off and get out of this position that you're in. Okay, it is now dark. The sun has gone down. You're in this moon energy of illusions, lies, secrets. Okay, and I do believe that this is somebody that you work with. And because you are trying to um, take something that they feel like is theirs, essentially. Right? Okay. Let's see. Let's, um, let's do the major arcana. Let's find out a little bit more about this person. So the major arcana is also known as the Trumps from their historical origin. The major arcana are considered the most important group of cards in the tarot. To some, they represent universal archetypes. To others, they represent a spiritual quest of enlightenment. Okay. And this is more about like personalities. Yeah, you know, people's personalities, um, like how old they are, what kind of wisdom they might have, what their job is, what their duties are. So I'd like to know more about this other person. Temperance. Step by step you go, patiently you find your balance and the right solution. And she's holding a bomb. All right. So it is saying step by step. First of all, you want to let go of this bomb. It's going to blow you up. Okay, you need to get rid of it. Stop holding on to it. You're holding on way too tightly to this toxic situation. Okay, step by step. This is you leaving, getting out of here. Patiently find your balance. Balance. Okay. And the right situation. So this is you finding the right situation over here. Woohoo. Right, the magician. It's time to create the life that you want for yourself. You have what it takes. Use your intellect, skills, and talents to get active. So take action. You do have the talent. It, this is just not the right place for you. Okay. And this is about um, the high priestess here. Right, you use your intelligence, the skills and talent to get active. She's not very active here, but she's using her mind. She's manifesting this. The action is to literally sit still, take a look at what is actually going on in this situation. Because the magician is showing you something that he wants you to see but is doing something else in the background that he doesn't want you to see. Okay, you need to create the life that you want. Okay, breaking these traditions over here. And we have strength. You will receive what you deserve. Karma will fulfill itself. There is a balance and fairness. Okay. So this is saying that you're not going to receive your wish though, but this is saying that if you have the strength to move on from this situation, to run away, to get out of here, that you will receive what you deserve. Karma will fulfill itself. She's like sweeping it under the rug here, hiding it behind the wall. So 
So I do feel like this person that is telling all your secrets does have a temper. Okay, and they're only telling one side of the story. Okay, they're gonna get their karma though, right? But you do need to move on because you're probably not gonna be around to see whether or not um, they got their karma. All right, let's look at uh, some of the archetypes here for this person. Bully. Light attributes highlights your tendency to intimidate others, helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. Shadow attribu attribute conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. Yeah, this person is abusing you. All right, they're bullying you because you have something that they want, that they feel like they deserve. Rescuer, light attributes, provides strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. Shadow attributes, assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. Keeps the rescued one needy. Right, this is about manipulation Right. I feel like you are the light attribute of this. You provide the support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation. But this other person assumes that the rescued will reciprocate, keeps the rescued one needy. Right. So you're constantly kind of feeling like, what is wrong with me? Because this person makes you feel that way. Even though you're this really loving person. Right? And they're acting like they're there to rescue you. And they're trying to be your best friend. And find out your secrets. Because you usually tell your secrets to your best friend. Student. Light attributes. Humility and... Uh, divination to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. This is about your lessons being learned from this. Shadow attributes, arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge, unwillingness to translate knowledge into action, right? <laughs> this is exactly what I was saying about her. She's not really moving. She's just sitting there. She's kind of taking action because of her knowledge. She's thinking about it, but she's not moving. Right? This is somebody being very stubborn and choosing the dark side. Trying to blow you up. Trying to blow you up to hurt your heart. Ooh, we have shapes shifter here in the bottom too. Light attributes, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. Shadow attribute, projecting an image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. Right, so that's the magician. Right, you're projecting an image that serves your personal agenda. You're trying to show a trick and have everybody go, oh, whoa, amazing. How did you do that? All right, so you got to navigate your different levels of consciousness, right? And here we have that purple again. And I was telling you about I saw with your crown chakra, spirituality, peace, and connection. Okay, there's potential in everything, right? So I kind of feel like because you're the shape shifter here, or you know, that person is the shape shifter, they're being whatever it is that they think you want them to be so that they can 
get in your good graces. Um, but you're a shapeshifter in the fact that you have the ability to see the potential in everything. Right? So you're seeing the good in this person, even though they are doing it wrong. Because you are a good person and you have only good intentions and you can't understand why somebody would do this to somebody else instead of lifting them up and helping them in this journey of life. All right, I just want to pull one card from here. Um, let's see. Uh, spirits of love. Contentment. Uh, please let me know. Um, which direction should we go in if this is not the right place for us? Okay, we have justice, justice, karma, consequence, accountability, law, truth, honesty, integrity, cause and effect. Short meaning, seeking balance and fairness in all things. You may be called to make a decision that requires you to weigh the pros and the cons carefully. Absolutely. I seek balance and fairness. <laughs> right? Where, where do we just see that? The balance and fairness. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> Um, let's see, injustice, retribution, corruption, dishonesty, and fairness, avoiding accountability. I feel like you're, um, you're trying to negotiate your way into this. And there's something about financial settlements and equality, right? And there's harmony again. You just want that balance. You know, it's kind of like the balance of uh, female and males and how equal they are, or blacks and whites and how equal they are, um, or any race that you want to compare with another race. Um, it's like you're comparing apples to oranges and we're all created equal, but we all also have our own special qualities and um, genetic markings, you know, lineage, which really shouldn't affect how we treat each other, but it really does. Um, and I think feel like society really perpetuates it. Um, they talk about it so much that it really becomes an issue at that point to where you're actually thinking about the divide instead of the unity because we're concentrating on the wrong thing. We need to concentrate on something else, right? Something more positive and loving and nurturing for yourself and for others. Okay, we have Libra, air, heart chakra. The answer is yes. And it's the number 11, right? And we had um, the four of wands, which is an 11 card, because we have 11 written out with the wands here. Okay, and then again, we have the Six of Swords, which we had already here too. So many cards. So many cards, I don't even know what's happening. 
Um, yeah, Six of Swords somewhere here, right? This is the energy here. What a mess. What a mess. How do I get in here? Where's my Six of Swords? I feel like it was right here. Ah! <laughs> right? That was a lot to get to. You need to move on to calmer waters, for sure. Moving on, departure, accepting lessons, distance, leaving something behind. I move forward with ease and grace. Stuck in the past, returning to trouble, running away from problems, trapped. Uh, tradition, transition in progress. You are moving away from a difficult situation and towards a more positive and peaceful future. Okay, we have heart chakra again. The answer is also yes. This is Mercury in Aquarius. See, running away. Air. And number six, harmony. Transition, change, travel, progress, financial stability. Okay, there's definitely something going on here with your financial stability. And I feel like this is not why you're not moving on. You feel like um, you have to stay stuck here because you need the money, right? Isn't that why we work? To support our families, to support ourselves, to live a um, certain type of lifestyle. But you need to move on. Um, something else is going to come up for you. This is not it. Whatever the situation is, you have a higher knowing of it. You can feel it. You know there's a trick going on. Okay, take back the peace. Take back the balance. Take back your power. Don't let this person manipulate you. Have the strength. Okay. Uh, I wish you best of luck in this situation, whoever this is for. Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, this is for loving energies only. Uh, this Nine of Swords just wants to be popping out here. This is uh, also Heart Chakra, a yes. Mars and Gemini, air number nine. I choose anxiety and embrace peace. Oh, I release anxiety and embrace peace. Yeah. Fear, anxiety, nativity, uh, breaking point, despair, nightmares, isolation. Yeah, you're at your breaking point right now. This is going to help you move on to move forward. Anxiety and worry. You may be experiencing intense anxiety and worry, possibly related to the past trauma or unresolved issue. Mm -hmm. Recovery, learning to cope. Facing life, shame, finding help, guilt, mental health issues. This person is bullying you. It's giving you this anxiety and these, these issues. Move on. Move on. It's the best thing you can do. Stop just sitting there and thinking about it. Take the action. This is never going to work. Okay. All right. Thank you for being here with me. One who seeks, please subscribe. Smash that like button, share this with your friends and family, and I will see you on the next reading. Thank you. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.